Welcome back to my animation channel. Thanks very much for joining me. Today we'll be looking at some of the very basics of Open Tunes. So the first thing we'll do is we'll open up our Open Tunes. This is the 1.6 version of Open Tunes. If you're watching this video at a later date, this might be out of date by now, but it's the latest as of when I'm recording this, which is November 2022. So when you open up the workspace, looks like this you click in it anywhere and it will automatically open up this tab which is the shortcut to get going down here on the right are all the previous scenes that you've been working on so if you were working on this one here last which we were you can click that and it will just open it up where you left off and get going again otherwise if you want to start a new scene you can start one here so that's what we'll do the very first thing you do is you select a project. You can create a project here. You can give it a name, tell it where to put all the various inputs and drawings, etc. We will take a existing project, which is the sandbox, which is when you first start on OpenTunes, everything will be in the sandbox. Later on, you can create your own project folders and put all your work in there. You can see I've got three here that, that I have currently open, but we will select the sandbox for today so that is the project all our drawing all our animation will go into this project what we're working in here is a scene so we'll give the scene a name let's just say tools example 01 and this scene will be saved in that scene folder in the sandbox which is a project which is an open tune stuff under the C drive. So we can click that, create scene, and we, we're going. The very first thing I'll show you here is that OpenTunes works on a basis of what they like to call rooms. So we are currently on the top right here, we are currently in the drawing room. If you click the next button, it takes you to the cleanup room. They're all looking very similar because I haven't set them up. Or well, I've changed the default. The palette room, the ink, Paint, Animation, Schematic, X Sheet, Tasks, Browsers. Now you can go and set these up as you want them. And then you can go here and you can, in your workspace, lock the room panes so that it remembers your setup here. So whenever you come back into this room, it will take you to how you how you left it. You probably will spend most of your time in the drawing or the animation room. So we're going to be in the drawing room here. Back to the Windows tab at the top here, everything's here, your command bar, which is this, your toolbar, which is set up on the left, you can you can move it around, your style editor, which will pop up somewhere down here, that is for all your colors and your textures, etc. Your palette, we don't have any drawings open, so there's nothing there, but all your colors and your textures will be saved in that palette. What we have here is the viewer. You can set up several viewers in the same workspace. So that's that's where you'll do it. Flipbook, which I don't use at all. Your X sheet here is, is this here. So we, we've already got it open. And your timeline, which is basically the same thing as, as the X sheet. Your function editor, which is where you can control your animation keys and your curves between keys, etc. Very important. But a, a little bit more advanced so we won't look at it right now your schematic again you're going to use this a lot we're not going to look at it right now you, it basically opens up with your camera and your your table and everything will work off there uh, we'll get to that at a, at a later stage your fx editor which is basically if you open up your schematic it flicks between the stage schematic and the fx editor by clicking this bottom right button here so you can see we're in the fx schematic and then we click it again and we're back to the stage schematic so you'll be using both of those a lot but we're not going to look at that right now it's a little bit more more involved we're going to keep this very simple right now your level strip which is over here this is where all your drawings will go so your drawings go into the level strip and then when you are creating an animation you will be bringing your drawings from that strip into this X sheet. The X sheet actually stands, the X stands for exposure. So in the old days they would um, have a camera, we, we it's all digital now obviously, but they would have a 
a sheet where they write down what frames, etc., they're going to expose on, on various levels, overlaying, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So this is what the X. This is where all the action happens right here in the X sheet. The X sheet, a lot of people like keeping it horizontal, which is a traditional way. I learned to do it on the right here in a, in a vertical setup. You can have it either way, it makes no difference. So you'll click between the vertical and the horizontal with this button here. The other thing that you can do here is that you can expand the size of these these frames with this tab over here on the right or if you're doing it horizontally it will be give me a second to find it <laughs> sorry it'll be down here on the on the bottom so a lot of people will work like this it is quite the more traditional layout where you have your exposure sheet at the bottom as I say, I like having it on the right here. I've just worked that way from the start, so I'm quite used to it. But whatever your layout, whatever your setup you want it to be, you can set it up like that. And as I say, when you have it set up, go to the windows and you can lock your panes there. So that's all for today. Please take a look at my Animating with OpenTunes course, which you can find by the links in the description. This course goes from the basics all the way through to the more advanced tools and techniques. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe and sign up to receive my newsletters. And otherwise, thanks again for joining me and hopefully I'll see you again soon. All the best. Bye.